for exciting. I'm looking for flashy. I'm looking for somebody who has that uh, that thing. What is that thing? Sean O'Malley is that thing. He landed. He bangs the high kick nicely done. Turning back, he puts it again in there from O'Malley. Oh, very fluent. Cracking roundhouse kick again to the right side of the body there from O'Malley. Back against the cage. Right hand from Nuzo. Nuzo was a bomb here. That. Yeah, that's exactly what I would, that I was expecting is a knockout like that. I'm Sean O'Malley. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I got involved in fighting when I was 15 years old. I liked boxing a lot, so I started working with a boxing coach, and I just started from there. Boxing, went to kickboxing. Then when I turned 18, I started MMA. I'm having fun in there. I really am. I'm happy in there. I love it. I think that with what is on the line for these guys, the best thing is is that they don't just need to win. They need to win impressively. Dana White's in the front row. Everybody knows what he likes. So you're not getting game plan fights where, okay, let me tiptoe in. These guys are going for it. Yeah. They're going for a finish as early as they can, and they're looking to trade, and they're looking to do what they do best so that they can win in impressive fashion and not just get a win to catch a check. Absolutely. And two fighters who are really looking to win in impressive fashion are in the Bantamweight division, Sean O'Malley versus Alfred Kishakian. So sugar Sean O'Malley, as he calls himself, <laughs> yes. and you ask him why, and he says, because I'm so sweet to watch. And you know, winning impressively is something that he is not a stranger to, despite uh, not having the chance to fight in front of Dana White yet. His spinning kick knockout, his last time out went viral on the internet. Yep. A lot of people know who this guy is. He polished it off with a standing backflip uh, just to, to cap it off. So Sean O'Malley is a kid who's young, he's undefeated. He says he's good enough and marketable enough to be a household name and take over this sport. It's certainly good to have confidence, but he's backed it up so far. All right, Paul, this is a very familiar setting to UFC fans, of course, and UFC hopefuls over the years. But as Dana White has said many times, this is a different environment to fight in. What would your message be to these 10 fighters tonight with so much at stake? Don't leave it in the octagon. Go out there, fight your butt off, impress Dana White. If you want that contract, there's nothing stopping you. Get in that octagon, throw down, and get paid. Listen, this is your chance. You don't want to be on that plane tomorrow morning going, man, I should have done this. Do it tonight. Well, impressing in week one outside the octagon was Snoop Dogg and Uriah Faber. You haven't watched fights with Snoop? You have not watched fights? I mean, we always got gin and juice okay. on deck too, baby. That was my next question. Close to the boogie. <laughs> All right, so they're drinking a, a juice of a different color from us, Uriah and Snoop. In the Snoop cast, there are no rules. Inside the octagon, that's a different story. And here's our boy O'Malley. Hey, Lil Dicky in the house. This is not joking. So he's 7-0. He's undefeated. We've seen that before. Right. But these guys are stand-up specialists coming in to scrap. See this guy 
guys how they stack up. 22 years old. Mm, he's I a baby in the ring. But 29, you're just you're, you're, you're right about to get your old man strength. 5'11 and 5'8 at 135 pounds. This game is changing. Right. Two inch reach advantage for O'Malley. 70 and 72. Let's see if he can use it. Referee Marky Mark Smith. In the house. Right in his face. Right in there, right now. He's got that 22 year old. Yeah, that's fair. He got the spear. Oh! Oh! Don't get it. Dang, he's trying to do the spear. So let's see if he's accurate here. Yeah, he needs work. Is he getting work? Oh, yeah, he got him in the hub. Uh, what is that, though? <laughs> you don't want to Take know. the booty position? <laughs> he had him in the take the booty position. You got to try to get up. Take the booty position again. Yeah, take the booty Should we booty name position. that one? Should we name that one? Snoop, take the booty position, or you don't want that one? You don't want that position. position. <laughs> They're both taking a lot of punishment in this first round. Oh, oh in nice face. Kick. Came back with a nice uppercut, body shot, one to the head, knee to the face. Tell you, eight no to the UFC O'Malley. I gotta meet that kid, man. That's 20, 22 that years kid, old. Man. You guys are pretty much like twins if you just do the outline of your I body. Meet that kid, man. He said wow. it's my show. All right, I'm here with Sean. Sean, what'd you say to Dana at the end there? I said, Welcome to the Sugar Show. <laughs> Welcome to the Sugar Show, indeed. Brandon, back to you. Hey, this the next motherfucking champ in the UFC, yeah, man. Baby. The Hell Sugar yeah. Show, believe it. Hell yeah. Okay, ready? I'm cold. Cold with it, man. Sean. This is Sean. Woo! Snoopo. Mally. I'll go to any alley with O'Malley. All right, there's the boss, Dana White. And so all that's left is the reveal of any contracts that might be handed out. I'm looking for exciting. I'm looking for flashy. I'm looking for somebody who has that... Uh, that thing. What is that thing? Sean O'Malley is that thing. He's the guy. Woo! The man himself is here. Sean, come on in. Dana, thank you so much. Thank you. Congrats, thank you. I appreciate kid. it. Thank you. All of a matter of moments for this to sink in. What's going through your mind right now? I literally picture this. I know everyone says that, but I picture this. I picture me knocking this kid out, and everything's just going perfect. What do you think about the current UFC Bantamweight division and, and where you stack up? Do you have any have any names you want to throw out there? I just want to keep getting better, keep training. Um, just keep getting better. I love to fight. I'll f I mean, they'll give me who they give me. I knew if I put on a performance, I'd probably get signed. I'm on a four-fight KO streak, like, knockout. So, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, boys, All right, man. The skinny boys is in the house, man. Sugar. Hey, y'all the next generation. Hey, welcome to the Sugar Show. Cool. <laughs> What's up, bitches? I feel like I can compete in UFC and I can beat guys in UFC. I have that it. I feel like I can really be a star in the sport. I just have that it. When O'Malley steps into the octagon for his UFC debut, the man standing across from him will be carrying where? UFC debut for Sugar Sean O'Malley, the darling of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Oh, nice question mark kick by O'Malley. Big straight left hand by O'Malley. It's UFC 219. Get your tickets today at AXS.com. Left from O'Malley land. When O'Malley does go conventional, that's the winner being the man outside Lake Oh, no. 
this reception in your UFC debut. We're just getting started, baby. We're just getting started. I'm the Asian sensation, man. And I don't need to talk trash. I'm gonna beat your ass and sack my cash. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man. That's your kid stuff. And from all angles, that shot oh, of that right hand stepped into that right hand nicely. Just mixes it up so well. Yeah. Oh! Congratulations. Tell, tell me what happened with your foot. Um, the inside of it, I, I can't feel it. It went, went numb and I couldn't even step on it. I think it was a question mark kick. Oh, it, it really hurt. But nothing a little medicine can't fix after the fight, after my after party. <laughs> We just got into Vegas just now. Literally, in two days, it'll be two years since my last fight. I don't even, it doesn't make sense. It went by so fast. So much has happened, and it went by so fast. Sugar's put on probably 10 solid pounds of muscle in all the right areas, so you can expect Sean to be much more durable, faster, more explosive, and super dangerous. I was fun to watch two years ago, and my skill level just increased so much, so. You know, I'm, I'm excited Kale. that they're excited. Viral Kale, like, something in me that just knows like something's about to happen. It's gonna be beautiful. It's Shoe Show 2.0. Jose Teco Quinones believes Sean O'Malley, as respectfully as he can say it, is overconfident and has never fought someone like him. We'll see how it plays out. This fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Quinones is in the gray. Sean O'Malley in green. Front kick to the body. It's a big opportunity for me. It's a big opportunity for him also. Um, you know, he, he, he's fighting a better. I'm fighting. I'm fighting a guy who he's got a huge name. Although he's he's been in the UFC not that long. Fight clock brought to you by Modelo Group for those with a fighting spirit. Wineland out of the orthodox stances in blue. O'Malley is in green. Another thing you can take into consideration about this fight is a small octagon. We're in a 25 foot octagon, five feet smaller. It'll allow Eddie Wineland to get close that distance much easier. 
Yeah, he says he wants to make it ugly and nasty, try to get inside. Never on bold character since 1872, and a bold right hand from Eddie Wadman finds the target. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, those counter shots. You gotta be careful here, though, because when you're engaging O'Malley, Ooh, look, he's good at that. That's where O'Malley's good. Right, whenever he's going in and out, in and out, he does a fence. Oh! Oh my goodness, he slept in bags out of nowhere and didn't okay, even bother right, following right. up. I mean, but look at how subtle that paint was. And look how he just walks away just to draw that reaction out of Eddie and then he just let the right hand go and he knew he was done. That might be the greatest walk away KO we've hey. ever seen. Declaring the winner by knockout, Sugar Sean O'Malley. All right, I'm here with Sugar Sean O'Malley. Sean, you're in this talent-stacked 135-pound division, but I've got to think that a fight like that, a result like that, has got to move you up the rankings in a big, big way. Congratulations on a truly spectacular performance. I fucking love you, Joe Rogan. I love you too, brother. Sean O'Malley, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting out of Chony Manabi, Ecuador, Marlon Chico! I know that, I proved that, I showed that. I want to hurt somebody. I want to go in there and fight. Push, push, I have one push, person in mind, push, you feel it. and I'm going to fuck him up. You know, I remember at the beginning of this year, I wrote on my on my whiteboard, I said, you know, 3-0, 2020. So here it is. Um, I didn't expect it to be so fast. I think this is my you know, third fight in, what, six months? So, yeah, we, we're on pace for four. But, you know, definitely not looking past Cheeto, and I, and I know what, what can happen in a fight. Tonight's Fight Clock is brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Chito Vera is in blue, Sean O'Malley is in green. Well, this is absolutely the most experienced guy. Something's wrong with O'Malley's leg. Right leg. I don't know what happened. But I really don't know. I think he, he blew his knee out. He rolled something when he moved backwards yeah. early on. And now Cheeto recognizes it, and he's moving yeah. towards him. And this happened to him in another fight as well. He's he up, he fell down. We'll hear about it in the corner if he gets there. Oh! Huge elbow from Cheeto! Big shot! Marlon Cheeto stops the Sugar Show in round one! I've gotten a lot of shit for stuff I've said uh, about this fight, um, and, and it's just how I feel. I just I don't I didn't feel like I got beat because he was better than me. I, I rewatched the fight. He kicked his his toe. It wasn't a calf kick. Calf kicks fuck they fucking suck. Calf kicks are yeah. fucking horrible. His toe hit my perineal nerve under my knee, um, and it caused drop foot. Um, and and I you, you saw me roll my ankle four times, and then I finally you know went down because I stepped back. And my ankle wasn't there. And he did land a nice elbow. Um, I, I didn't feel like I lost because I, um, I didn't do. I, I was. I wasn't beaten. You know, I, I have twelve one whatever. I say I'm mentally undefeated, but you know that sure. just comes from. I, I didn't feel like I lost that fight because I was not the better fighter that night. Um, that that fucking that shit happens. It's crazy. Fighting's crazy. What is drop foot? You said. You know what you said. Was that the term you used before? Uh, drop foot. Yeah. So when you hit that nerve, um, it's a nerve. It shuts down your foot. You have no. Uh, you can't lift your foot. So every time I'd step forward, I'd just roll my ankle. Wow. Yeah, I've never heard of Limp, Jimmy. Like, you like you have, you don't have drop foot, but you get drop cock. No, I know. Drop cock, yeah. like 
I'm like, gonna I'm drop a, foot, drop cock. Yeah, me and you both. Believe me, drop foot's a dream <laughs> compared to drop cock. At least drop. you don't have to explain it to a frowning woman. Give a shout out to my boo. Give a shout out to my boo. My boo's right here. And guess what? We just got a contract. Thomas Almeida, March 27th. <laughs> Oh, I like the dance partner they have for you here. I mean, yeah. Thomas Almeida, yeah. he doesn't represent, a, it's, it's very misleading looking at this guy, like, oh, this guy's coming off three losses, they're hooking me up. I don't know, man. Yeah. Hey, you don't yeah. feel, you have see, you're not getting any fucking lemons. But Thomas Almeida is definitely fucking legit. You, I mean, would you agree? Yeah, no, I think this Thomas is an awesome opponent. I think it's going to be a sweet kickboxing fight. Um, but I, I do think he, he's legit. He's definitely legit. The guys he's lost to are all bad motherfuckers. So it's not like he's, like you said, coming off three losses. But people coming off three losses, it's, it's got to be tough. I always think a guy is pretty dangerous when he's coming off that because he's fighting for what he would see as his career or fighting for to not get cut. You know, whatever it is that motivates a guy. So I would always think a guy like that is, is even a little more uh, dangerous. In my mind, I'm 12-0, and, and, and it's I'm still on this roll, baby. I'm, I'm coming off that Eddie knockout. I got fire behind me. Um, confident. I had a great training camp. I feel fucking awesome, and, and I'm ready to get back in there. And I'm excited. I fucking love performing. I love being under those lights. I love fight camp. Um, so I'm just excited to get back in there. I'm looking for exciting. I'm looking for flashy. I'm looking for somebody who has that uh, that thing. What is that thing? Sean O'Malley is that thing. A a any any message for uh, for Thomas Almeida before we let you go? I'm sorry, brother. Sorry, he's going to Bellator prior to this. I, oh. If he loses this fight, he's, he's, we'll see. So, right? Sorry. <laughs>